Hi everybody and welcome back. We're going to do something a little bit different today. I'm just going to show you the workflow from a 3D scan, which is what we've got here. Um, so this was a job that was done recently. It's basically a part of a car. Um, so this is like the seal. Um, let's see if it kind of goes like that. I think it was. I think that was the side bit and that was the bottom something like that um, and basically as you can see here we've got the clip thing there and this side was broken off so the task was to scan this in and add a new part on there um, so originally when I scanned it I didn't have no spray and it come out horrendous because the black um, absorbs the light so I've got some special spray which um, it, it dries as a powder um, and as you can see the scan actually come out quite well if I just um, and you'll see it will break this scan down and just like rebuild it so it's like 32 photos um, per revolution so 32 photos there 32 photos there 32 photos there and 32 photos there and this is how it came out this was after the white powder spray was put on as you can see it is a point cloud and not a, a solid mesh so if we just zoom in you can see all the points there um, and if you read down here it's like 17 million four hundred and fifty five thousand seven hundred and fifty nine points that is a lot um, and then basically in the software this is iron scan um, once you're happy with the scan I've already taken all these bits out I'll remove as much as I can um, we can click on here um, you can see actually see how detailed the scan is because here we I think this is the the date um, sort of like grid um, and there's a few other bits in there made in Germany and I'm sure that PG I have actually looked it up but that P C um, B P B T is actually the material for, uh, from what I can gather. Um, so you can actually buy the same filament for your 3D printer as that. Um, so then we go into this part here, which is the mesh, and then it'll ask you if you want watertight or unwatertight. So obviously, well not obviously, but <laughs> unwatertight leaves all the gaps in so you can fill them in later in your 3d program but i crossed my fingers and hit the water tight just went with a medium because i didn't want it too low too low polys just in case it come out rubbish and obviously high that would have just been absolutely a nightmare so we'll just wait for this to do its thing i was actually quite surprised at how well um it done this actually uh, come on okay we'll come back when it's got to when it's finished which okay and here we are um, as you can see there there's 451,000 polys um, the object size we're just gonna apply because I need to keep it as a hundred percent and apply well, actually, I don't think I do need to keep it 100%. Um, but I just wanted to, for modelling, and look at this. How good is this as a mesh, eh? I was just like absolutely gobsmacked. It filled in all the gaps in the right places. If you remember, we had gaps in here, gaps in here. It's taken out all the edge bits, filled all the edge bits in, and there we go. As you can see there, it's a full-on mesh now. And then what we can do, which I've already done, obviously this is a job that's already been completed. But as I say, you can see here the bit that's snapped off there. That's the bit that we've got to fill in. So we'll just go straight into Blender because I've already done all this. Okay, so this one here, this was the scan from the standard one without the powder spray. 
and you can see it is an absolute mess it was di absolute diabolical it, in in the iron scan software you can actually um, sort of try and line up as much as possible but this just was not working at all so that's the one without the powder and then over here this is the one with the powder so this is the ABJ as you can see that we brought in for the missing part nice solid mesh I do, I do really like that and then this one here is the one that I've added the pit the new bit on you can see there it's just there's the new bit I've already um, done a modifier to attach it all and I've smoothed it I went into um, sculpting and then I used the smooth as you can see here this is the the object the new object um, and as you can see you can just smooth it over I went in quite low on the strength because I didn't want to overdo it and you can just smooth it all down nice so it looks as good as new and you can also get rid of all this if you want to it's entirely up to you when you scan it in but yes I love my little scanner and I absolutely love that spray for what it can do I just cannot but I mean the detail that it brings out that that's just crazy absolute crazy anyway that is my 3d scanning workflow from scanning the object to the iron scan software and then export it to an ABJ import into blender do your modifications this printed off really well the customer was really happy and it slotted straight in no questions asked brilliant Anyway, I hope you liked the video. It was something a bit different today. Um, if you did like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell where you'll see more videos or well, some like this. Some of the normal tutorial videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.